I was 13 years old and it was my birthday and my stepfather gave me a Zenith EM and he had this magical way of describing how it worked. Back in those days, it was 1983, on the Zenith EM you had this needle that moved depending on where the light was. You would pull this bar across the needle and you would lock the bar over it and that would then set your relationship between your aperture and shutter. And he described it and I got it. It was something I just got. I wasn't enjoying school very much. I wasn't very good at art either and I hadn't thought about photography. So when I kind of understood the mechanics, I then started taking photos. I remember the first roll, it came back, took sort of three weeks or something like that to come back or a week. These things were quite slow though. There's like one photo in a pack of 36. Obviously it was film and it came back in the post. I opened it up and there was one photo of a shadow that I put aside. And my mum saw it and she said, What's, why did you fuck off that shadow? And I said, I don't know, it's just something that caught my eye. And then the next roll there was like three pictures, then the next roll there was five pictures. And it sort of begun like that, and I just went out and looked at colour, texture and so on. And then I joined a local camera club and that really transformed me. They do offer something, especially when you're young. I was taken in by a lot of the, um, the members. I had a dark room at 15 donated to me by one of the members who was retiring. There's a lot of you know, older members in these, in these village camera clubs. And you know, to be there at 15 and be the youngest person, they kind of took me under their wing and taught me things. That always stays with me. And I began to start winning the competitions in the camera club as well, which was exciting for me back in those days. And this is all before I left school. So when I left school, I knew this is what I wanted to do. And I went straight to college and started uh, my studying.